New extra depth on the firefighters leaving the Deming Fire Department. Negotiations over pay continue after 14 firefighters put in their two weeks notice nearly a month ago. Now the department had 21 qualified firefighters who double as paramedics as you see here. But of the 14 who handed in their two week notice, four have already quit while the other 10 are still working at the department, hoping the city will increase their pay so they can continue doing the job they love and protect the community. Now, ABC 7 first reported on this story more than three weeks ago when the community of Deming held a rally, what you see here, demanding those higher wages for their firefighters. And then two days later, we reported that the city of Deming had entered into negotiations with the firefighters. And we continue our coverage of this developing story today with ABC 7's Rachel Phillips, who went out to Deming to try and get some answers. She joins us live now from the studio. And Rachel, what is the latest on the firefighter situation in Deming? Well, Eric, it's been nearly three weeks since the city entered into negotiations, and still there is no resolution that has been made. Today, Deming City Council met and discussed firefighter wages, but no decision was made. And that's why we've already seen four firefighters leave since the start of the year and another 10 waiting for a decision. I spoke to one of the four firefighters who quit, and he told me it's by far one of the toughest things he's ever done. I left the department smiles all hey you know guys everything's gonna be all right we're gonna see each other i got home and i cried like i had never cried before my wife had to hold me up becoming a firefighter was victor salas's childhood dream and i'll never forget when i got my first bike on purpose i would release the air from my tires and walk my bike to the fire department just to have those guys fill up my tires and then at the same time that i was there just you know, gaze at these trucks. Salas told me it was his calling, a calling he's now had to cut short because he says he was overworked, risking his life constantly and being underpaid for it. All amid the COVID-19 pandemic, continuously exposing himself to the virus. All that, and then you come to glimpse and realize you're only making 50 to 60 cents more than minimum wage. It, it's it gets to a point where you do have to ask yourself, you know, is what I'm doing worth it? When Salas took off the helmet and hung up the hose, he was making $12.15 an hour. He was also working two other jobs and he's not alone. Salas says at least 80% of the department works multiple jobs just to make ends meet and the community sees their struggle. After their they tied red and black ribbons around town, and many have their cars painted in support, including Heather Gomez, the wife of a firefighter. They go through a lot of traumas to not be compensated for what they do, and, and a lot of them, they're, they're so passionate about their job that, okay, well, I guess this is all I'm worth, but I love my job and I love saving people. We said start us off at 15, just, just so we can feel appreciated. Is that what we deserve? Is that what those guys in there deserve, to start them at 15? No, they deserve more. Gomez says the best the city has offered is a 2% pay increase. They don't seem to care about our firefighters and they don't seem to want to negotiate in good faith and give them what they deserve. You know, they just state that they're not in their budget. On January 20th, just a day after those 14 firefighters put in their two weeks notice here at the Deming Fire Department, the city put up these now hiring signs. But Heather Gomez told me that this isn't the answer and now she's worried about the future of her community. I feel like uh, we have a community crisis right now. Last week, there were five fires in Deming within 21 hours. They not only took a toll on firefighters, but could have also left Deming in a dire situation. Right now, if the department is out fighting a fire, then elite medical transport is called for medical emergencies. A company that Heather Gomez told me is not only severely understaffed, but of the employees they do have, a lot are Deming firefighters who use the company as one of their second jobs. And usually they only have one truck operating at a time. It's not really a backup plan at all. If they're out fighting a fire and there are two different medical emergencies. Our community is in a lot of trouble. Gomez told me in the past couple of weeks, it took crews more than five minutes to get to a stroke patient. You can't take that long on a call. And that was the backup service coming in and doing that call. Sunland Park Fire has 15 full-time firefighters and a similar population to Deming. Chief Danny Medrano told me you can lose an entire shift when four firefighters leave and losing any more would be extremely concerning. To lose uh, 
two thirds of half of your department in one shot like that, yes, a, a safety issue most certainly does come into play. Um, not to mention, um, you know, the, the, over, the overworked. We see the effects of what's going on and nobody's saying anything on it. Just up in the air, like, okay, are they gonna come to this call? Will they be able to come to this call? Will they have the guys to come to this call? And negotiations are still ongoing. Gomez told me that the city is refusing to speak to anyone in the community about the situation. I reached out to the city for comments several times, like we have been doing since we first reported on this story. A spokesperson told me they will not comment on the matter until a resolution is reached. Now, back in November, the city gave the department a 6.5% increase. That's when Victor Salas started earning $12.15 an hour. Gomez says the highest the city has proposed in negotiations is a 2% increase, which would bring Salas' wage to nearly $12.40 an hour. They then say in July they would do another 4% increase, which would mean he would have been earning just shy of $13 an hour, still more than $2 under what they are asking for. Stefan Eric. All right, and Rachel, thank you. And Gomez also told us percentage increases don't matter when the starting wage is so low to begin with. What really matters is the final dollar amount. The city held a meeting today and they showed the lowest firefighter wage is just over $39,000 annually. But Gomez says the numbers the city displayed included a one-time retention grant which increased the pay for firefighters just last year. And Gomez also told us the average firefighter in Deming is actually making $35,000 a year before overtime. Another firefighter we've spoken to in the past says he earns less than $27,000 before overtime. Flyers the city sent out on January 21st of this year showing job openings also have the pay listed as just more than $35,000.